It was a steady stream of people the first business day of the new year at NMMC's Wellness Center. It's crazy today. I haven't seen it this covered up. This is typically the busiest time of the year for gyms as people tackle those New Year's fitness resolutions. Experts say there are simple steps to success. They have to have a goal. They have to have somebody, probably a partner, they have to be uh, motivated to stick around with and be accountable for. If you can keep that fun, keep them interested, have their change of plans and workout procedures that they are doing, uh, they have a better chance of sticking around. For Tupelo resident Elizabeth Ham, a recent injury prompted her to get back into the gym with a new attitude. I ended up injuring a, a disc in, in my hip just in a freak sort of way, so until you can't use something like that, your health, you take it for granted, you take your good health for granted, and then it's just a slow patient process to get it back. Exercise enthusiasts stress patience and perseverance. I would say do a little at a time. Do not overdo it. Because a lot of people overdo it and then their body may have a setback and then they'll just get out of it. Once you start, you just make it lifestyle change. You get in here and you work out and you just uh, meet friends and everybody encourages each other. Good job. Julie and Andrew Battle enjoy long nature hikes and they plan on tackling the Grand Canyon this spring. They say consistent workouts equal better quality of life. We are in our 70s and uh, I don't think we'd be doing these things and some of the hiking we do if we had not kept up our program here. So whether your goal is to take part in a hike, to run a marathon, or just shed some of those pounds, trainers say it's important to keep a few things in mind. Keep track of your progress, eat right, mix your workouts up, and most importantly, don't give up. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.